Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, if A is equal to matrix 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6, find A transpose. So in this video, I am just taking an introduction on matrices. In some competitive exams, questions on matrices will be asked. So just an introduction about matrices. Some introductory questions on matrices are covered in this video. So if you are thorough with the introduction of matrices you can skip this video and you can watch other videos on the same topic matrices so this is just an introduction video so you know a matrix is an array of numbers so you can say m cross n matrix means it will be having m rows and n columns so this is how you represent a matrix m cross n where m represents the number of rows and n represents the number of columns so this matrix a is a 3 cross 2 matrix it is having 3 rows the first row consisting of 1 and 4 the second row consisting of 2 and 5 and the third row consisting of 3 and 6 so a is a matrix consisting of 3 rows and 2 columns this is the first column and this is the second column. This is the first row, second row and third row. So it is a 3 cross 2 matrix. You are asked to find out the A transpose. A raised to T. So A raised to T means it is representing A transpose. For any matrix A, the transpose can be obtained by interchanging the rows and columns. The rows will be converted to columns and columns will be converted to rows. So, M cross N matrix will be converted to a N cross M matrix. So, in this case, the 3 cross 2 matrix will be converted to a 2 cross 3 matrix. So, A transpose will be having 2 rows and 3 columns. So, how do you do it? It is very simple. You just have to write the columns as rows and the rows as columns. So, this is here the first column is 1, 2, 3. So, for A transpose, your first row will be 1, 2, 3. And your second column is 4, 5, 6. Second column is to be written as the second row. So, your second row of the A transpose will be 4, 5, 6. So, here you can see it is a 2 cross 3 matrix. So, this is the A transpose. A transpose of any matrix can be obtained by interchanging the rows and columns. So, what you have to do is that you have to write the first column as the first row. And the second column as the second row. Then you will be getting the A transpose. Now question 2. If A is equal to matrix 2, 4, 1, 2, minus 6, minus 1, 3, 9, 8. And matrix B is equal to 4, 7, 5, 2, 1, 3, 6, 5, minus 2. Find A plus B. We are asked to find out the sum of matrices. The one thing you have to remember is that a M cross N matrix can be added only with another m cross n matrix both the matrices should be identical in respect of the number of rows and number of columns a 2 cross 2 matrix cannot be added with 3 cross 2 matrix addition is not possible a 2 cross 2 matrix can be added only with another 2 cross 2 matrix so here you can see a is a 3 cross 3 matrix there are 3 rows and 3 columns Similarly, here B is also a 3 cross 3 matrix. B is also having 3 rows and 3 columns. So, you can easily add A and B. How you do it? You have to add the corresponding elements. The first row, first column element of A should be added with first row, first column element of B. Similarly, first row, second column element of A should be added with the first row, second column element of B. Similarly, the first row, third column element of A should be added with first column, third column, first row, third column of matrix B. Similarly, this and this should be added together, then this and this should be added together and here also this uh, 1 and 3 should be added together. So, the corresponding elements of the two matrices should be added together in order to form the sum matrix and that is why it is told that only the identical matrices can be added. The number of rows and number of columns of the matrices should be exactly same. So, here what you will be getting A plus B is equal to, I am adding the corresponding elements and writing. So, 2 plus 4, 6, then 4 plus 7, 11, 
वन प्लस फाइव सिक्स टू प्लस टू फोर माइनस सिक्स प्लस वन इज ईक्वल टू माइनस फाइव वन प्लस थ्री इज ईक्वल टू फोर थ्री प्लस सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू नाइन नाइन प्लस फाइव इज ईक्वल टू थर्टीन सॉरी फोर्टीन एट प्लस एट माइनस टू इज ईक्वल टू सिक्स सो दिस विल बी योर सम मेट्रिक्स ए प्लस बी इज ईक्वल टू मेट्रिक्स सिक्स लेवन सिक्स फोर माइनस फाइव दिस इज माइनस वन ओके सॉरी दिस इज माइनस वन सो माइनस वन प्लस थ्री इज ईक्वल टू टू ओके फोर माइनस फाइव टू देन नाइन फोर्टीन सिक्स सो दिस विल बी योर सम मेट्रिक्स so how you find out the sum of the matrices now how do you find out the product of the matrices question number 3 if a is equal to matrix 3 1 minus 5 minus 4 and b is equal to 4 minus 2 3 minus 1 find ab so ab means a into b you have to find out the product matrix when the matrices a and b are multiplied with each other what do you get so you are having a here and you are having b here so how do you do the multiplication so i'm just rewriting the matrices here 3 1 minus 5 minus 4 and b is equal to 4 Minus two, three, minus one. So unlike doing sum here, the multiplication is done by row column method. The first row will be multiplied with the first column. So that is how you will be getting the first element of the product matrix. Then the first row will be multiplied with the second column in order to form the second element of the product matrix. Similarly, the second row will be multiplied with the first column in order to form. the second row first element of the product matrix and the second row will be multiplied with the second column in order to form the second row second element of the product matrix so let us see how it is done so a b is equal to what you do first is that you will be multiplying the first row with the first column so when the first row is multiplied with first column how what do you get or how you will be doing the multiplication you will be doing this first element with this corresponding first element so 3 into 4 plus and you will be adding 1 into 3 so your first element is multiplied with the first element 3 into 4 plus 1 into 3 so similarly now the second element you will be ob obtaining by multiplying the first row with the second column so this first row is multiplied with the second column so let me use a different pen so l okay so this first row is getting multiplied with the second column in order to form the second element so 3 into minus 2 so 3 into minus 2 plus 1 into minus 1 so you'll be getting the second element of the product matrix now we are going to the second row of the product matrix so there are also row column multiplication your second row will be multiplied with the first column so how you will do it Minus five into four minus four into three, and again the second row is multiplied with the second column. Now minus five into minus two minus four into minus one. So as you practice more and more, this will come very easily to you. So row column multiplication. Already you all know this, and this is just a revision video. How to do the multiplication of the matrices? Row column method. So you are first row. and first column then first row and the second column then second row and the first column and second row and the second column so what you can remember is that for performing the multiplication of the matrices the number of columns of the first matrix should be same as the number of rows of the second matrix so that you can always remember that is the condition the number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix so here they both are square matrices 2 cross 2 matrix a square matrix is one in which the number of rows and columns are same so here there are number of rows is equal to 2 number of columns is equal to 2 so this is a square matrix similarly here also number of rows and number of columns is equal to 2 so it is a square matrix so here a and b both are square matrices and both are 2 cross 2 matrices so therefore the number of columns of the first matrix is obviously similar to the number of rows of the second matrix so that condition you have to check before performing multiplication only when the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to number of rows of the second matrix we will be able to perform the matrix multiplication so what is ab so ab is equal to first element will be 3 into 4 plus 1 into 3 which gives you 15 and your second element will be 
3 into minus 2 plus 1 into minus 1 which gives you minus 7 and your third element is minus 5 into 4 minus 4 into 3 which gives you minus 32 and your last element will be 14 minus 5 into minus 2 minus 4 into minus 1. So, this will be your product matrix. Now, one more question. What is matrix 1, 2, 3 multiplied with matrix 1, 2, 3? So, first you have to check whether the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Here, number of rows of the first matrix is 1, 2 and 3. So, there are 3 columns for the first matrix and number of rows of the second matrix is 1, 2 and 3. There are 3 rows in the second matrix. So, number of rows of first matrix is equal to number of columns of the second matrix. So, the condition which is necessary for doing multiplication is satisfied. Now, you can proceed with the multiplication. So, number of rows of sorry number of columns ok sorry number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to number of rows of the second matrix so that condition is satisfied so you can proceed with your multiplication so what you will be getting how you have to do multiplication so 1 2 3 multiplied with 1 2 3 will be equal to your first row should be multiplied with the first column. So, you will be getting 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 3 into 3. So, this element should be getting multiplied with this and this and this and this and this. So, 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 3 into 3. First row is getting multiplied with the first column. There are no further rows in the first matrix and similarly there are no further columns in the second matrix. So, you will be just having one element in your product matrix which is equal to 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 3 into 3 which gives you 14. So, this is the product matrix. Now, some important points regarding the matrix multiplication. So, you know that for numbers the multiplication is commutative. A into B is same as B into A. But for matrix, AB is not equal to BA or the matrix multiplication is not commutative. So, here you can see 1, 2, 3 can be multiplied with 1, 2, 3. So, what about the matrix 1, 2, 3 multiplied with 1, 2, 3? So, first itself it will be checking the number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. So, here it is same 1, 2, 3. The number of columns of the first matrix is equal to number of rows of the second matrix. So, multiplication can be done. Here you will be getting the same answer since the elements are identical. But in some other cases you will not be getting the same answer. A, B is not equal to B, A. That is an important point you can remember about matrix multiplication. Suppose the question is like this. 1, 2, 3 multiplied with 1, 2, 3 then 4, 5, 6. So, here the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to 3. There are 3 columns for the first matrix and number of rows of the second matrix is also equal to 3. So, you can multiply. This matrix 1, 2, 3 can be multiplied with the second matrix. But you take the reverse case. The matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 multiplied with 1, 2, 3. So, here the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to 1, 2. There are 2 columns for the first matrix. The number of rows of the second matrix is only equal to 1. So, in that case you cannot perform multiplication. So, even though you are able to do matrix A multiplied with matrix B, you are unable to do the multiplication of matrix B multiplied with A. So, A, B is not equal to B, A. It is not commutative. So, that is one property you have to remember. Matrix multiplication is not commutative. So, in this video you saw how to find the transpose of a matrix, how to perform the matrix addition and how to perform the matrix multiplication. Thank you for watching.